Hi again everyone, this is Jeff of Tau Flare Mouse. Today we have an interesting discarding Sabo Dart shotgun round made in Russia by my friend Alexi. Now this is a rather complicated design using aluminum fins, a solid brass body drilled out and then filled with lead in the nose. Now the dart is rather long, almost 50 millimeters or two inches in length. Now these are rather lightweight as far as shotgun projectiles go, weighing in just under 18 grams or 274 grains, or 0.63 ounces. Alexi also sent an aluminum disc that goes behind the dart, a cork wadding, and also a gas piston. And then finally, to keep the dart centered in the barrel of the shotgun, he included these foam sabo pieces. There's four of them that pack around the dart. So he, there was a whole lot of work involved just to make one single round. For the first test, I loaded these into a Fioki, just target loads, nothing real powerful, but you can see that we had a lot of problems with this configuration. Now it appeared that the smokeless powder that we used in those Fioki shells was just a little too uh, snappy, it burned a little too fast, and the end result was it just destroyed these darts, and it just killed me to see this because I know that Alexi uh, put so much effort into these, sent them halfway around the world to us to test, and after three shots we decided to stop the test and, you know, take a look at what's going on. And here's a couple of the aluminum tail pieces that we found just really mangled up. So one of the things that I talked with Alexia about was trying to use a slower burning powder, so I decided to try some black powder. Now in this test, I loaded each shell with 30 grains of this black powder. Let's see if the results are any better. It's dead center, just a little close to go for a hit. Okay. Now the problem with black powder is it, it just puts out a ton of white smoke a huge fireball and it just makes filming it really difficult. The good news here is that the dart flew very stable, it didn't break apart this time and he got that headshot on that ballistic gel gummy bear. Now for me it was quite a challenge to try to film this and avoid that huge cloud of smoke so I had the camera offset quite a bit in this shot. <laughs> now it should be noted that because we're using black powder, these darts are probably going subsonic. So with the right powder, we could have gotten much better velocities with these. <laughs> it shed the... There's the tail. Pull that tail all the way through that first block. Come on, well, I'm Kung Fu Fooey. Then penetrate it all the way through here. But look at this. Wow, there's the main dart. That's pretty good. It, it was dead center, dude. And it even uh, tapped that one before it. Okay. Lost all of its energy. So managed to pull it out here. And. Uh, oh, it's actually screwed on there. Look at that. He yeah. threaded it. To that little tail piece. Yeah. Locked in this thing. I'm not getting out of here until we cut that wooden half. Yeah, but, yeah. But that little thing, man, did it impact. That's that's crazy. That, Which that's a good round for it homemade. It indicates that it probably went through nose first. Oh yeah, definitely. Just like a bullet. Yep. Okay. Anytime. Wow. Zapped it. I, I, it went right through it. Now for the third shot, we set the jug about 15 yards away. Still not a great distance, but we wanted to keep moving things further and further back and see how the accuracy was with these darts. Now we see a lot of other stuff in the shot besides the dart. We see the Sabo pieces initially, and then we see the uh, aluminum disc that's painted yellow with a blue stripe, and we also see the gas piston kind of flying along with the dart. Now the dart had enough energy to go through the jug, 
but it didn't have enough energy to really blow the jug apart because it's going subsonic. You see the kind of make out the fins there? Yeah. Yeah. You, you clipped it. Oh, it went right through it. Right fins through. and all. Like a lower velocity rifle bullet. Yeah, these may be flying at subsonic speeds. Yeah. Because a rifle bullet hits like that, however, the energy transfer would blow that whole jug up. Yep. This thing slides through like a hot pencil. Yep. 40 yards, right? Yep. Okay, smooth bore, hit it. All right, here comes the dart, probably again cruising at subsonic speeds, but still flying very stable. However, because it's a lightweight projectile, it just didn't have the same amount of drop that a like a one ounce slug would have. So for whatever reason, I'm not trying to make excuses here, it, it did hit a little bit high. At least he hit the dummy, that's, that's the good thing. Sometimes these tests just don't go as smoothly as we hope, yet despite that, Alexi's Zenith slugs perform very well, and I want to thank him for sending these to us to test out. Now I have a link in the description to Alexi's channel. He'll show you how he made these. He even has computer models of how he predicted the flight of these things. The guy's super smart. Anyway, thanks for watching.